So the first thing you're going to want to do is get your ink. And when you open this, open it very carefully because it's probably going to be kind of full to the top. Um, and I would encourage you, you can um, try to pour it in here, but it's going to drip really bad. So I would use one of your brushes to dip in and put some black ink in one of your wells. For the purposes of this video, I'm not going to use one of the brushes you're going to be using. One of the three Sumi brushes, I'm just going to use another brush that I have just to show you. So what I'm doing is I'm basically just putting in um, black ink <clears throat> into one of the wells here. Like so. And you don't really need to put a lot. I mean, you can just, if, if you need to, um, you can put in more later. Um, and then after you do this with your brush, which is going to be one of your Sumi brushes, um, make sure you go and you wash it out really well in the sink. Um, and it doesn't matter if it stains or anything like that, but just make sure you wash out the, the brush really, really well. Okay. Um, and then the second thing you're going to do is you're going to try, you're going to pour water. Now, you, you, the palette that you have, you can see that it spilled over a little bit, see? The palette that you have has 10 wells, these little, these little wells right here. Um, so you can put water in all the rest of the wells. So you can see that <clears throat> um, this one got like a little bit of an ink. So what happened is, is what you're trying to do is you're trying to dilute this water. So this right now is going to be like a really light tone. So when you want to start adding to the other ones, all you need to do is just dip in, do it like into your black, like so. So you can see that this is obviously a darker value than that. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm now I'm going to go and I'm going to start dipping from this one into here. So I'm going to get a lighter value. Um, and you can just kind of like go back and forth. And um, so now this looks kind of like it's kind of comparable to this. Now, if I want like an even darker value, like this. This is obviously a lot darker than that, which is a lot darker than that and that. Um, and so, so basically when you have your wells and you've put water in all of them, just dip into your, your, your well with the, with the pure black ink and then just, you can just do little drops into each one. Um, and you're going to get, and you're going to get fluctuating values. Um, and again, you can just kind of try to, you know, you just, you want, since you have 10 wells, you're going to want to have like probably like five or six different grays. Um, but if you only have the black and then you have the white of your paper, um, you know, if you have, even if you have only three, that's okay. But anyhow, so you're just going to have to figure out like what tones you want and try to kind of like, um, you know, see what's working and what's not working. So some just basic things when you, when you start, um, you know, playing with the tones is that you, you're going to want to have two pieces of um, paper towel. And what's going to happen is, is that when you, when you dip into your wells with your brush, and it doesn't matter, it can be any of the size of the three size brushes you have, you're going to want to always take off excess water. Um, and then you lay down the tone. You, you don't want a lot of water on your brush. Okay. It's really, really, really important. If you get too much water on it, like if I go like that, it's going to start getting, it's going to be really hard to control, okay? Um, now, also, these brushes that you bought, I tried to make them as inexpensive as possible, so they're not the greatest brushes. So you might start seeing, like, little hairs come off and stuff like that. Um, but, but, but don't worry about that. Just try to be very kind of gentle when you're using them. Um, so anyhow, so again, when, when, when you dip in, make sure that on your piece of paper towel that you get off excess water. And you, you'll see that you can still, you're still laying down a tone, but it doesn't have a lot of water on it. The other thing is, is that with your other paper towel, um, here, I'm going to do a darker tone. If you lay down a tone, um, so I did that with, without taking the excess water off, um, but then I'm just kind of like, with my brush, I can also kind of spread around a tone um, and then just keep taking off the water that it's picking up and then kind of, you know, making it go back out like so. Um, what I was gonna say was, is that 
if you lay down a tone and you have a problem with it, like it's too light or it's too dark or whatever, with your other paper towel, all you have to do is just kind of lift it off like so. Okay, now it's not gonna lift off completely. Okay, but, it, it, but if it's a darker tone, it will definitely lift off. It's gonna re leave a residue of, of, the, of the value there. Um, but the other thing is, is that if you need to go back over after it's dried, you can go back in and add a darker value like so. Okay, and then when you're using the brush, try to really think about using it um, in a really fluid way. Okay, meaning that you, you don't want to use it when, you know, you're doing something like, like this, where you're kind of like drawing with it. You want to really think about the fact that it's an actual brush that is trying to make the fact that it's a wet medium or a wet media as fluid as possible. Okay, um, so you can see I'm just going to lift this off like that. Um, so, because, I'm gonna do it like the pure black tone here. I'm gonna take off some excess on there. Um, and when, when you use it, and so you, obviously each size of your brush is gonna give you different variables in terms of how much you lay down in certain areas, okay? Um, so that will obviously, you'll start getting a sense of like what, which brush is like gonna cover a bigger area. Obviously the wider brush is gonna cover a, a wider area. Um, I'm going to put another value in here, take off some excess water, do it like a darker tone here. So again, anything that's really light, like the lightest parts of um, the picture that you're going to be doing the, the ink drawing from, um, just obviously use the white of, of, of the paper. So, and I'm going to just lift that off like that. Um, and if you want, when you're doing it, if you want to keep using your paper towel to really lift off what you put down, um, that's probably a good idea. Uh, but th the most important thing is, is that you have to go really slow and you don't want to do this really fast and really expressively because I'm going to show you how to lay out the whole thing from the image that you're going to be working from and how to, how to gradually build it up. So what I've done is I've taped off the border of my drawing. Um, with the painter's tape that you have. Um, and then I've just drawn out, this is gonna be the photo that I'm referencing. And I've just drawn out very lightly in pencil. I've broken down everything in terms of all the shapes, not a lot of detail at all, just figured out all the proportions and the basic overall composition and just laid out everything in very, very lightly in pencil. And then I also encourage you even with your kneaded eraser to go back over your drawing after you've laid it down. And I'm, again, I'm barely using any pressure at all. And I'm, and I'm just trying to just even lighten up even a little bit more of what I laid down. So I can just, I can see all the foundation of the shapes and where I'm gonna, and where I'm gonna end up, you know, obviously building up the tonal structure with the, with the ink, okay? Um, but it, I guess the most important thing, again, I just wanna reiterate, is that you really, really wanna make sure that when you lay down the overall structure with pencil, that you lay it down extremely light, okay? Because if you lay it down too dark, you're not gonna be able to go back and get rid of a lot of those lines. So just, so as you can see, you, it's just, I almost have like a ghost structure of the whole composition laid out. Okay. And again, I, I, I'm, I'm working from, from this photo that I printed out on my printer. And obviously you can work from any of those photos that are in the assignment. And also, if you want, you don't have to do the whole thing. If you just want to do sections, like, and say you just wanted to do this and then blow it up and you know, have her be the whole, the whole piece. That's totally fine. I, I, I really don't. I don't. I really don't care. It's more about using the wet media and building it up, um, in terms of the technique that's important. So I've got. I'm just gonna try to zoom into like a little section. So I'm gonna try to do this section right up here, or part of it, just to show you how to lay down stuff. So I've got 
my thickest brush, I've got my medium brush, and then I've got my other sumi, my smallest sumi brush, I, I couldn't find, but so I'm using something to the equivalent in terms of the width. So I've got three different size brushes. So this first section right up here, this gray right here, is this area right up here on my page. So I'm gonna try to lay down what I think might be that value. And I'm gonna use my biggest brush and also again, make sure that when you when you when you dip in that you take off excess water okay um so i'm going to lay down that gray that i think is back in that value shape right back here and you can see that i'm trying to be very fluid as i lay it down okay like so remember because it's a wet media and because it's a fluid media it's, it's going to have that fluidity running through. You, you want to have that, you want to have that effect of it being fluid. Okay. Um, now, and also remember if you lay something down and you don't like it, use your other paper towel and then just lift it off. Okay. Um, but, and also if the value looks like it's really good, I would also use your paper towel to lift it off because that will also help you getting um, making it look more uniform in terms of the value. So I would encourage you to kind of go back and forth about laying down a value, you know, and then waiting a second and then lifting it off with your paper towel and then you'll get a more fluid, a fluid tone. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna try to find um, the value that's kind of surrounding the head, which I think kind of might be closer to this value right here. Um, and I don't know if you can see it in the video, probably not, there's like a little white area that's running along the edge of um, the part of the sculpture that's white. So I'm just gonna lay down, I'm gonna isolate that white, I'm gonna leave it the white of the paper and I'm gonna lay down a value right here that's not as dark as the one behind it. And again, I'm kind of still using my, my largest brush because it's just a wider area. So again, I can also go back with my paper towel and lift it off. So now I have two shapes of value that I've laid down. Um, it might be kind of hard to see in the video. And then I'm going to do this section right back here again. And there's that little white edge right there that's running along the top. Um, So again, use my other paper towel, block it out like that. So now I have these two sections. And again, you just, all you're really trying to do, the easiest way to do this is really kind of try to do it in terms of building up the whole foundation um, and just doing it in terms of shapes of value, okay? Try to just break it all down into shapes of value and it doesn't have to obviously be perfect. Um, now I'm gonna just do a little, little sections of um, parts of the hair for right now and I'm, I'm now I switch to my smaller brush and I'm taking off excess water and I am going to lay down some of the lighter tones um, that I'm seeing in the hair and again I'm leaving the white of the paper for the whitest areas and then it's going to start that's what's going to start making it look like um, that it actually has some dimension to it in terms of the shapes um, and then also right here, I think that I'm, I'm going to want to use maybe this value for the value of the face, at least on the edge of this part of the cheekbone right here. Okay. So it's, it's very light. So again, you all, all you just want to make sure that you just build up everything and you're just trying to match the values as close as you can and it doesn't have to be perfect it's gonna because if this is probably going to be very new to a lot of you um and then it just it, but if you do that and you just do it in terms of taking off excess water if you do it in terms of breaking everything down into the shapes 
that will get that will start making it look like it has like some dimension to it okay um, again if I don't like that I use my other paper towel and I lift it off um, so I'm gonna do a kind of a um, like a time lapse for the for the whole thing um, and then I'll stop and I'll go back and I'll stop and go back um, but just the most important thing about this like I said in the very beginning is you need to go really 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 slow Okay, try not to just do it really fast because then that's what that's what it'll look kind of sloppy and it'll be really hard to control. Um, that that's like a, one of the most important things when you're when you're doing an ink drawing. So another important <coughs> excuse me, thing to do is to, after you've laid down a few different values, um, kind of let your whole drawing uh, dry um, and then come back to it. Um, it'll just start balancing out um, the fact that, you, that you're using a wet media on a drawing paper. So kind of <coughs> what happens is that it ends up drawing more even, drawing more evenly. Um, so just kind of let the whole thing dry when you when you've laid down a, like a few different values um, and then just also remember that um, when you if you do apply a value that you really think is too dark just like I said and in, in, in the prior aspects of what you were just watching on, on the um, um, time lapse is that I kept dabbing down with my paper towel um, and kind of blotting out what I laid down a little bit, and you still you still retain the value for the most part. Um, but if you do lay down something where it's like really, 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 really dark, and you start laying it down, um, and you really don't like it, then just remember, just lift it off right away. Now you're going to get a darker value, but it's not like I said, it's not going to be as extreme as if if you didn't do that. So you're going to be able to go back, and if you need to make it darker, that's fine. Um, but at the very least, if you, if you, like, if I lay down like a pure black, okay, and I, and I know that I can get, if I get at it like right away, it won't end up being pure black. So just always have another paper towel in hand to help you with that idea of blotting something out if you think that you're going too fast or if you've made it too extreme in terms of the value. Um, that should be very, very helpful. Um, um, and just making sure that you're, you know, that you're controlling the drawing as you're working on it. Um, and then that's why you just need to start off really, 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 really slow and then gradually start building up the drawing and just having, you know, seeing it emerge with the different values and the, and the value range and the contrast.